problem with people today um, is not being willing to accept what's real. You know what I'm saying? You and your family's personal safety should be priority. That's like, you know, that's, that's, that shouldn't even be a question. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel, not feel this. Feel this. This is good. Feel this. Your personal safety for you and your family should be top priority. Like, there should be nothing in the world, not a college fund, not uh, what you're eating, not how much money you're making, that should come before you and your kids know how to protect themselves. But this is the thing. People live in such denial. And denial is something else. They'll deny in many ways. They'll deny by saying, Oh, somebody trying to do something to me. I'm going to kick they this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. That's one. They'll deny by saying, oh, this would never happen in our neighborhood where I live. That's two. You know, and then most importantly now, what's the main thing is CCW. Well, I got a gun. You know, but you got to get to that gun. And just because you got a gun don't mean they don't have one. Also don't mean they won't sneak up on you. So there's a lot more to even, you know, to self-defense with a weapon than just having it and having fired into a target ten times or shooting at some cans. You know, when it comes to self-defense, first of all, what happens is the brain goes into a state of shock. That this is real. This is really getting ready to happen. This is really going down. Wow, there's nobody here who can save me. And people don't understand what that feels like. Well, a, a good self-defense instructor, which, I mean, it ain't many of them out there. I'm just being real. There's a lot of bull crap out there. I've seen it. It's incredible. But a good self-defense instructor, that's the main thing he's trying to do in training somebody in self-defense, is to recreate this emotion and then to teach you what to do when you feel that way. This emotion of fear, confusion, abandonment, that's what you're going to feel. Then you have to decide to fight back. Then you have to believe in the techniques that you have and do a correction. That's all this you got to have for self-defense rather than, why well, I got pepper spray, or I'm carrying a knife, or I got a gun. Oh, I watch a lot of uh, 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and, and super, super uh, badass movies, so I'm going to do what they do to people if something happens to me. So it's, it's shameful. You know, it, it really is in America because right now Americans are sitting back and pretending like these are not violent times. You know, uh, the, the shooting that just happened at, at Chuck E. Cheese in St. Charles. You know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm over here in St. Peter, St. Charles area, and you know, I mean, people think that that crap is not going to make it over here. You know, uh, the stuff that happened over in North County in Ferguson. You know, this happened all over people. It happens in North City, South City. It happens everywhere, and, and criminals travel. And, and not only do, do criminals travel, anger travels, stress travels, frustration travels. This is not about certain types of people being a certain way and doing certain things. This is about emotion, and this emotion is happening everywhere. With the economy, what happened, a lot of people lost half their stuff, if not all their stuff, and they're still going through it, and they're really feeling the bite now. So crime is on the rise. You know, there's less people working, less jobs out there, and, and people are frustrated. People feel they have nothing to gain. They feel they don't have a chance in life. And they feel that their only chance is to commit crime, and when they're not making it, these frustrations hit, and it brings up this anger that can cause this to happen and anyone who thinks that they're above being attacked is living in a super fantasy world. Me personally, you know, I'm, I'm the world champion, bodyguard, all this stuff, I've done all this in my life and you, you know, all of y'all that's around me know the way I carry myself. I'm always on guard, always on guard, and always expecting an attack, always ready to defend myself, always ready to stand my ground, all right, and I'm, I mean, who's going to attack me is whatever. Nobody ever going to attack you. What are you worried about? That's the dumbest thing in the world I could think. So, you know, I, I definitely speak. And I'm going to say this to Cam. I speak to you dads. If you got daughters, sons, I'm a dad. I got a, you know, I got a daughter. And, the, and the, the, the thing I have to worry about with my daughter is her turning it off. You know, not turning it on and whooping somebody's butt if she needs to whoop their butt. But I have to worry about her keeping it turned off. Because I trained her and I put her through hell personally to the point where she's like, Dad, what are you trying to do to me? And I said, you better fight back and defend or else you're going to get your butt kicked today. Because that's how important it is for her to be prepared for that moment where some new boyfriend who thinks he's going to smack her around, treat her the way he wants to, some kidnapper who's following her when she gets in her car, she's driving around, she's going to the mall or going to visit her friend, and he's going to trick her and pull her over. You know, all these things, that's way more important for me, for my child, 
than having a big fat you know college bank account for her or uh, buying her a fancy car or make sure her hair gets done or making sure she's got this big fat fancy home to live in where when I go to my job to work some home invader breaks in and takes advantage of her and, and beats the crap out of her and I come home to that beautiful house to find my child you know hurt this is reality. I'm sorry if it pisses people off and, and most of you probably already turned the camera off because oh, I don't want to hear that crap. You don't know what you're talking about. But this is the truth. We, we are living in violent times. We always have. This is nothing new. You know, of course, we all want to feel secure. We all want to feel that, oh, everything's a fine. America is great. And America is great. Don't ever think it's not great. But we have to work together to keep it that way. And personal safety should be priority. If you do not have your children, your wife, your loved ones, yourself, and never have never been involved in a self-defense course and are not, not consistently, consistently practicing self-defense. I mean, once a month going to and doing a workshop. I don't care if it's, you know, if you come to my academy, you know, every day, or you're going to go to my academy once, then go to do Krav Maga, and then go check out Jiu Jitsu, and then go check out Jeet Kune Do, and then go check out a firearms instructor, and then go check out a street fighter, check, but all, or go check out a boxer, but always finding something where physical altercation and self-defense and, and, and putting a whipping on somebody is, is locked in a little box in the back of your family's mind. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous because learning self-defense, doing a workshop, takes as little amount of time and as little amount of money as it takes to shop for a pair of shoes. And it doesn't matter how far you gotta travel. You know, um, you know, we do incredible workshops all the time. And I know other martial arts schools that do incredible workshops. And people will say they don't have the time. They, they it's too far, you know. But when a rock concert hits, you know, at the uh, the Riverport, everybody's coming from Tennessee to go to that. That's more important. But I'm telling you, at that rock concert, the things that don't get reported is how many people got attacked. How many girls got sexually assaulted? How many of these teenagers things happen to? Them. And you know, the main way it don't get reported. It's because the people it happened to don't report it. So that's why I say, too, again, to you dads out there, and I can talk tough to you because I'm a dad. So I can talk to you however I want to. And the truth of the matter is, you don't make sure that your daughters can protect themselves, your children, you know, even your son. Something happened to your daughter. Most of the time, they're not going to tell you about it. You won't even learn about it. They'll go through their whole life carrying that weight. And it'll mess their life up. It can wreck up. That's hard to fix. That's really hard to fix. So as a dad, the best way for you to protect your child is for your child to learn how to protect themselves. Because you're not going to be there all the time. You know, I, I hear that all the time from, you know, uh, some, some husbands, some boyfriends. You know, there's a lot of husbands and boyfriends out there who do the right thing, who, you know, are sure that their women learn self-defense. And they'll bring them in their self and learn with them. And then I started showing up to like, oh my God, man, this is incredible. I didn't know I could, you know, just like this, I could put somebody down. Wow, thank you. You know, because they, they leave that ego outside. But I've heard tons of egotistical men say, oh, my, my woman don't need to learn this. I'll protect her. Number one, first of all, you can't protect yourself. I'm looking at you. You can't fight. You just, you just talk a tough thing. I'm sorry. Number two, what happens when you're not around? This is what's real. You know, so you're so egotistical that you want to, that you're willing to take a chance on your wife, your, your girlfriend, your daughter getting hurt because you want to sit there and claim that you can protect her? You know me, every woman around me, around me, I tell my daughter, I said, you gotta know how to fight, because what if somebody hurt me, what if somebody shoot me? What if I'm banging and fighting or trying to defend you, defend everybody, and I get hurt? And you gotta stand up and protect me and save me. So this is the reality, it's, 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 it's Americans need to wake up. This is not Leave the Beaver time. This is, you know, War Cleaver's gone, June Cleaver's gone, Leave the Beaver's gone, the Eddie Haskells have, have, have uh, revolutionized and evolved into people who will take you out. And your money can't protect you. Your education can't protect you. Where you live can't protect you. Uh, the only thing that protects you is proper knowledge and training in self-defense. That needs to be the American way now, self-defense. All right.